What up, Super Reaction Bros? I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for the other WWE Studios produced thing coming to Netflix. This time it's a film. This time it's a film called The Main Event. Yes. So, basically, it's like Mike, but instead of um, Michael Jordan's tennis shoes, it's a wrestler's luchador mask. It's a luchador mask. Yeah. So, in this case, a WWE fan finds this mysterious, this mystical uh, ma uh, mask, mask that gives yeah. him wrestling abilities, yeah. pro wrestling abilities. So at one point, you know, so, and it, it stars a whole eclectic different faces, other be superstars, uh, like The Miz, for example, is in this. Uh, but that's the basic premise. It's just a kid goes in, wrestles like... WWE, again, it's like what I said in our reaction to the Big Show show, you know, where it's like they're... It, they have to have some type of originality. If they want to be a successful type of show, a good re uh, originality to certain things. And to me, it's the type of thing where, again, it, they, like you just said, like Mike, that's what this is. It's just, that's uh, that's what you get from it. That's a basic premise. That That's all it is. And you already know from like Mike, how it's probably going to begin and probably how it's going to end. You know, so it's, 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 you, you have to be different. You have to be unique. I mean, you could do wrestling shows. I mean, you've already seen it, but even though it's based off of actual, you know, it's based off historical stuff. But you know, I see future uh, television shows diving into now wrestling because there's a lot of drama behind wrestling that a lot of people don't know about. You know, and this is just feels like, like you said, it's like Mike. It's a family film that they're trying to push towards. You know, yeah. So that's all this is. So here we go for the official Netflix trailer for the main event. So here we go. WWE Universe, get ready to meet the next great superstar. Leo, Leo, you're gonna be late. All right, kiddo, time to get up. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Wait, kids have access to the switches like that? I don't know, right? That's a take away. That's, that's how it usually works. Trophy Otis. Keith Lee. That explains because a few uh, lat, or late last year, Sheamus for some reason was in a, in a referee outfit for no reason, and apparently that was the reason. So, he, oh my God, this. Where, where do you want to start? So Luchador Mask apparently gives you superpowers, and it's been a superhero. Dude's deadlifting it. Keith Lee like he's a paperweight. Uh, not anybody seem like make this uh, suspicious. I Seriously, 
You wanna watch it over me to just to It's 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 something where it's just like it, you know, I mean I understand it's trying to be a family film, but it's like a family it's picture. It's a family picture. Yeah. You know, but it's 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 the type of thing where it's like it's a it's a kid though. I mean, you you can't tell it's a kid. Seriously. I mean, I understand like for example like AEW pretty much with um oh uh, golly from Jurassic Express. Jungle Boy? No, the other one, the small one. Marco Stunt? Yeah, him. You know, it's like that's what I'm trying to look at. Going maybe. You know, they, that's what they're trying to pull off because it's like Marco still looks like, you know, if you put on a mask on him, he could be like a kid almost, yeah. how small he is. But it's still, it's like when he has the strength to lift somebody up, like, you know, like somebody like that, it's like, does, does that seem too suspicious, please? Yeah. It makes, it, it, it's no <clears throat> sense. And like I said, going, I will be a superhero. I mean, he's drawing it like a superhero. You know, it's like, he didn't even take out the trash properly in that scene. It's just landing on the top of it. And to be honest, it's like you don't you don't have to have the strength, you know, to be a wrestler. There are times when you just need to have to be fast, like Marco Stunt. You know, the way he moves around, you can't. You know, he may not be able to lift you up, mm -hmm. you know, but you know, he may be able to at least you know move around quickly, you know, a little bit. And here they could have actually made it work to where it's like he doesn't have to lift anybody up, but at least. Sorry, I'm looking over everybody. It's in this. I like I do love I the did, match. I do chuckle at when he touches Otis's head. He's like, we just started the match and you're already sweating. Yeah. You know, but stuff it's like this certain things where you could do as a luchador where he doesn't have to lift anybody up. And of course he just has to He makes he sells it every time. I don't care. The actor yeah, the actor sells it every he time. He sells it every time. I mean, it doesn't matter how cheesy it is, he knows how to sell it. You know, but I don't know. It's, it's it looks fun. It looks all right. I mean, it looks it's not, all right. It's definitely something that's just for the kids. I think that's all it is. It's for the definitely, kids. Definitely, yeah. Definitely, this. It, yeah, it's about what you expect it to be and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I, I there's nothing much more to say about this. I mean, it, there's nothing much I more really to say hope... about it. It's about what you expect from this kind yeah. of film, like something you would see out of like, like a or like a like a late '90s, early 2000s film of that's, some shit. That's what way she reminded me of. That's what it feels like. I mean, is it for everybody? No. Is someone gonna find some entertainment out of it? Maybe. Most likely. I Maybe. mean, I just hope that I just really hope WWE could come out with some. Especially if they're working a little bit more with Netflix, I hope they come up with some better stuff, um, either better original content or better storytelling in a way. And you know, it just feels awesome. like when they do, when they focus on like more of a drama piece, it comes out better. Like I enjoyed, I have my I have my issues with fighting with my family, but I still found it to be a good film. Yeah, when you don't look at it as you know a wrestling fan, you just look at it as like a moviegoer. You know, I enjoyed it. I had I had a good time with it. You know, it's like it was really good. You know, of course, you know, if you're a wrestling fan, you're going to nitpick about the hell out of it. But that's just us. That's how we're going to be. Yeah. You know, and I think here, I think, again, this is catered to kids. That's what it is. It's just catered definitely to kids. Definitely catered. Not catered to us. Definitely catered to, to kids. To the kids, pretty much. That's what this is. I mean, you and can still make a good, like, kids film that adults enjoy, but, like, this, this is screams, definitely. This is screams, again, you know, kids film. But again, for those adults who grew up watching, like like Mike, you're gonna you're gonna be like, okay, this seems too familiar, yeah. type of thing. So other than that, if yeah. you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Netflix original films produced by WWE, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this trail overall. Do you agree that it's definitely something that it's definitely catered for the kids? Um, uh, you know, does it look like it's something that you probably would not pat a watch whatsoever? Um, or you just want to check it out to see what it's going to be like? Um, let us know what your guys' thoughts are. I mean, again, everybody has their opinions on stuff like this. Even with the, the Big Show show, everybody's got their pains on that as well. Just let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this overall. Put down what you thought of our reaction as well down below. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very main event filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.